What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. Today, I am in my custom seven mil wetsuit. I've got a three mil and a five mil over this. I'm currently waiting on my dry suit certification, so I'm gonna be able to dive the rivers around here comfortably, hopefully in the future. But we're out here today on a new bridge. We're gonna be doing some scuba diving and metal detecting to see what we can find underneath this bridge. I think it's gonna be a great day because this bridge is over 100 years old and there's remnants of an old bridge that's a little bit downstream from here. So I'm super excited to see what we can possibly find today. So I've got all the gear in the back. We're gonna get geared up and get in the water to see what we can find. Jeremy. What's up? How's it going? I smell my wetsuit. <laughs> my sweatsuit's damp. Yep, he didn't wash it since the last time we went diving. It's been in the car for a week, so I'm trying to look past that smell. But that's disgusting. Oh my god. You shut so, up. That is so disgusting. You shut up. The river is public property over here for anybody, so we are going to go down there and enjoy the public property. But we are going to be walking in the private property, so hopefully the landowner doesn't come. I forgot my boots for scuba diving, <laughs> so I'm wearing tennis shoes in like 40 degree water. <laughs> what are those? These are, my, these are my north face, man. These are hiking shoes, not made for underwater activities. That's awful. I think it's about time I got a new pair of goggles because look at these. Look at these things. These are nasty. So for those of you who scuba dive, and those of you who do river treasure, I just got this tool and it's amazing. Okay, look at this, it's a scuba tank. It's a small little scuba tank, but when you open it up, it has a pick on the inside and it also has O-rings. So, really cool. I'm glad I was able to get this from Diver Supply Marietta. They're sponsoring today's video. But, let's get down to the river, see what we can find. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. <laughs> this is for you guys. This is so cold. Oh, I can't wait for that dry suit. Here we go. Oh! 
Jeremy found a purse and now we're taking out the contents trying to see what's inside. Oh, look at all that. There's like business cards. I bet you I there's, there's IDs. ID. Yeah, I bet there's ID. Are they all IDs? Dude, what? I don't know what that is. Looks like it. Well, these have the name of the guy on them. A piece of jewelry. These are like, oh, look, this is like a credit card. More things. Oh my gosh, look, they have scorpions on them. Look, a oh, scorpion. That is really cool. That is, that is really cool. I know the first thing people are gonna say is I should be wearing gloves. Who knows, there might be a ring in there. I don't know, right? All right, everybody, it has been an amazing day of diving. I just got out of the water and we found so many cool things out here while we were scuba diving. Just got back to the truck and cleaned up some of the jewelry. I think, honestly, I'm gonna have to take some of this jewelry to an appraiser. So, I think I'm gonna resume this episode once we get to the appraiser and have them look over the jewelry because, I mean, it's just an insane amount of stuff that I was able to find today. The jewelry was the main part of it, but let's get to the appraiser and see what they have to say about this. So does that look like a, it does not look like a real. So this one is gonna be uh, cubic zirconia. Cubic zirconia. And silver. Okay. Set in silver. Um, we've also got, a little rainbow cubic zirconia rainbow here. Rainbow cubic zirconia, uh -huh. very cool. It's also set in silver. Um, this one's pretty unique. This is an <laughs> older brooch. It's kind of cool. It's a clown, it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's a clown with, with a star <laughs> on the face. Um, also a, a dental assistant pen set with enamel. Yes. Um, then that one was 10K, I believe. Um, this one here. Yeah, so this one's a style probably from like the late 50s, early 60s. Oh, wow, very cool. Um, let's see, this one is an even older style. This one dates back 
to the early 1900s. Wow, really? Where you've got that collet setting. Oh my goodness. Claws right there. Yes. That's then incredible. we've got a class ring here. I'm gonna try to get that to the owner. Yeah, I think that'd be a really and cool thing. That'd be definitely cool to get um, back to them. Yeah, class of 97. <laughs> Let's see if there's any inscription in here. Because sometimes you can call the manufacturer. Really? And they'll know who ordered it. That's amazing. But this one, it doesn't say anything on there. As far as this, I know there's a bunch of, you know, junk watches and things like that in here. Um, but I did want you to take a look. I didn't know if this ring was like silver or if it was gold. Let's see if this one's stamped. There's quite a few watch bands and stuff in here that I think is... Yeah, so typically if it was silver or gold, it, it would wouldn't have, have the... It would have tarnished. Gotcha. This is making me think it's stainless steel. Stainless steel, okay. Yeah, just because the alloys in the gold would have turned a little bit, just like in that 10 karat ring we had. Definitely. Yeah, they're, those are gonna turn a little bit. Um, this one was like an infinity band set with cubic zirconias. Mm. So, so yeah, no diamonds I, there, but very cool. No, no <laughs> diamonds there, but yeah, I mean, obviously it was somebody's treasure. So yes, definitely. Very cool neat. Find. Well, thank you so much for taking a look at it. Um, as for like, obviously this is not worth, this is not worth anything because most of this is like junk jewelry, but like as for like the silver stuff and like class rings, um, would you say like maybe like a couple hundred dollars worth of? Yeah, so I would say most of the value is going to come from the bullion in the metal. Okay. So for, for kind of the scrap weight of that on those, just because they are turned, um, a lot of the stones are missing. That's definitely. But yeah, but if you wanted to, these could even be polished and oh, very brought cool. back to life. Definitely. That'd be very cool. Well, thank you so much for your help. I Absolutely. really appreciate it. All right, everybody. So that is going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed watching, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We're going to have a lot more videos coming soon. I'm super glad we were able to take this jewelry to the appraiser for them to take a look at it and see the value on it. If you guys want to see more videos like this and scuba diving, drop a comment below what you enjoyed most about this video. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much.